Patrick, first of all, many congratulations to Sweden for qualifying for the London Olympics next year. What does that mean to the sport in Sweden? Uh, that means uh, tremendously much and uh, that was the goal actually when we came here and that I took a medal today was just a bonus I think but I'm really happy that we can go and I think London's going to be absolutely fantastic. Well I've been commentating for two days with Dane Rawlings, one of your great friends, who's been willing you to get a medal and he's delighted today but your performances this week have been really consistent and really brilliant, you must be really chuffed. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I knew my horse was in a good shape. He's been proving it all season that he's in a good shape. And uh, today he went even better than I ever expected. So I am totally out of the blue. Carl, I've just worked out your average score. 82.809 over the last four days. How does that feel? Well, that, I've been in shock all week, as you know. And that's still, you know, every, everything that someone says to me like that, I'm just not used to getting those sort of scores. So... That feels pretty nice, Phil. Thank you. From, from Great Britain's point of view and from your point of view, two horses out of your yard here to getting that gold medal, that's great for the team at home, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, the team at home will be absolutely delighted. I mean, these horses have been in our yard as well for six years and Pellegro uh, seven years. So, I mean, you can imagine they are very much part of our lives. And, um, you know, everybody has a day-to-day -day dealing with them. I don't treat them like they're gold. I mean, you know, the girls get a chance to ride them out every week when they go hacking. And so they do feel very much part of it um, as a team. And uh, I'm delighted for them. And I know they'll be really happy and they'll be ruining the place while I'm over here and <laughs> wrecking my wine cupboard and everything else. So they should be, actually. Adelinda, since the introduction of the multi-medal format, you are now the first person that has ever, at the same year, won both individual titles. So you are the undisputed European champion. How cool is that? Yeah, <laughs> cool. <laughs> but there's probably going to be more, right? <laughs> so. Well, there may be more, but at the moment, it's all about you and Parsifal. Just talk about talk us through the last two or three days. Well, first we had the, the team competition. Um, actually, we did pretty good for, for Holland. The beating the British was not possible, and then the Germans also are pretty strong at the moment. And then, yeah, we, of course, sold our horses to other countries. So, yeah, it's actually we have to get really good new talented horses to sort of get better for next year. Um, then, of course, yesterday, my, my horse, Yerath Parzival, was in great shape, and then I made a mistake, and I probably would never have forgiven myself, but now it's a bit easier, because I won anyway, so that's good. And then today, today was actually real perfect, because he was in great shape as ever, and, and even I did good, so I'm really happy. Well, Her Majesty the Queen was jumping up and down and screaming and yelling in the stands. <laughs> I don't suppose you could see that, but no. you've obviously got full royal support here. Perfect, that's really great to hear. I didn't see it, but really great. Well, many congratulations. As I say, you are the undisputed individual European champion, and that's really, really special. So many congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed to all of you, and many congratulations to all of you. See you all in London. See ya. Cheers, bye-bye.